Come on, keep the bike covered at least. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my new motorcycle. Now, brutally honest, this is my long term. I haven't purchased this with my own money. This is Suzuki's bike, which I've got for at least six months. So I'm going to be, I've given away what it is now. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my new motorcycle. Yes, this is a long term. It's not actually mine. I've got this bike for the next six months or so. So I'll bring you some really decent in-depth reviews of this machine. This is potentially the worst uh, unveiling possible because <laughs> the wind's blowing, it keeps blowing the sheet off. But without further ado, here is my new 2024 long termer. Oh, she's a beauty. She's a Suzuki. This is, of course, the new 2024 Suzuki GSX-S 1000 GX. Now, I went to the launch of this bike in Portugal end of last year, and I really, really liked it. But there were some things, because of the launch and the nature of the launch and the sort of routes they took us on, it wasn't really clear if this was a real sort of sports touring machine or is it just a touring machine? There wasn't much emphasis on the sport. Now, during my six months, at least with this bike, I want to give it a proper test from the sports point of view. Now, as part of that launch, it's got the Dunlop Sports Max tires on it. I wasn't overly impressed with them. They didn't give a great amount of feel. They didn't give you, seem to give a great amount of grip. So as part of my time with this bike, I'm going to be swapping the tires out to something a little bit more sporty and actually adjusting the profile as well. It comes with a 50 profile as standard. It's quite a flat sort of rear tire. So I'm going to make it a little bit more aggressive. I've actually got a Michelin on the front at the moment because I had a puncture. I've done 200 miles on this bike running it in and I've had a puncture. So I've had to put a a Michelin on the front, so I didn't fancy getting a, a, the front tyre plugged, and I couldn't even find where it was punctured anyway. So we've got a Michelin on the front, but ignore that, we're going to be playing around with the tyres and fitting something a little bit more sporty. Because this has got full electronic suspension, I want to basically see if I can change the profile of the rear tyre and make it more aggressive without messing up all of the ride height system. So I'm going to have a good old play round so you don't have to. So I can let you know what 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 modifications what tweaking you can do to this bike to make it a little bit more sporty i mean to be honest in the 200 miles i've been doing running it in it's actually much more sporty than i remember anyway i don't want to play around with it too much but i just want to give it some little tweaks we're going to try some little styling tweaks with it as well i've got quite a lot of plans for this bike and included in my plans is going to be a track day i'm going to suzuki live at cadwell park which i think is it's a two days i think it's the 21st 22nd of june and they've got entertainment i'm going to be camping so if you're free at that weekend i'll put the dates below i'm going to be there i'm going to be camping so we're going to load this bike up i'm going to ride it up there with my tent and everything and pitch up and uh, take this around on take this around cadwell park for at least well, for several sessions just to see what it's like. We're also, of course, going to be doing a comparison with Gregorio, probably against the XR. So we'll put this, pitch this directly against the 2024 BMW XR and probably the Tracer as well. So probably bring the Tracer into the mix, the Tracer GT, you know, equivalent bike with the electronic suspension and stuff. So uh, got a lot of plans for this machine. So if you're interested in the GX, subscribe below because there's going to be a lot more coming on this bike and uh, what I will be bringing you very soon is a video when I pick this up. When you pick up a long termer normally the bikes are fully run in by the factory. Well I didn't want them to do that, I wanted to actually do the running in of this bike as well. So I've got a video coming shortly when, when I collected this from Suzuki in the first 130 miles of running in talking of sort of some of the tips and tricks with running a new bike in basically. So yeah I'm still running this in now we've got about 250 miles on the clock um, I'm going to bang that out over this next week, take it back to Suzuki, get the first service done, ready for uh, Cadwell Park and Suzuki Live. So. But uh, there we go, this is it, a very brief sort of introduction to my new machine. And uh, if you're interested in this bike, subscribe below, follow along, because I'm going to be doing some quite interesting mods to this. And I'll bring you all the pros and cons, you know, the beauty of living with a bike for six, at least six months is I learn everything about it. So I can pass on all of that knowledge to you if you're interested in buying one. So uh, that's it for this video, a very quick reveal. And you're gonna see a lot more of this bike very soon. There's also another reveal coming up because there's been another 
new purchase. Gregorio has made a purchase of a new machine, so we're going to be doing another uh, unveiling of his new bike very soon as well. So exciting times. See you later, guys.